let's apply the displacement boundary conditions first. So we need to set the displacements at these three holes to be zero. So all three components of the displacements uh, we need to set to zero. So let's do that. Um, highlight static structural in the tree and select supports fix support. Okay and uh, zoom into that area using the right mouse button and holding down the control key select these three surfaces and click apply. Okay so what we just did is set the <coughs> UV and W components of displacements to zero on the nodes at that surface. So if I go back to mesh, pin this um, and zoom in here. So, you know, for instance, this node UVW displacement is set to zero, similarly here and so on. So those nodal displacements are known through the boundary conditions. Next, let's apply the force um, to this surface over here on at the right hole and what that will do is apply a traction corresponding to the magnitude of the force times the area over which we are applying it and we're going to apply it in the y direction so i'll say zoom to fit um, i'll zoom into this region um, I'll highlight static structural in the tree and supports, uh, sorry, loads force. And select the surface where I want to apply the force. And <clears throat> I will define it by components. And the Y component is 100 pound force. Okay, and answer shows me the, the force value here. Um, and so we will, you know, so we will go, when we look at the results, we will go and check the stress values um, at selected points near here and check that it matches the applied traction. So I can zoom out here. And if I highlight static structural, it shows me, you know, the, the boundary conditions applied. And then also keep in mind that, you know, at the other boundaries where I don't do anything, answers by default will set it to zero traction. So that's all there is to boundary condition specification. So save project.